Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So after two years, I finally, finally, finally got this bag. So let me know in the comment section below what you think it is and let's unbox it together, shall we? Before I get to the bag unboxing, I wanted to show the shoes that I picked up at the same visit. Disclaimer alert, this bag purchase and timing was completely unexpected since I just got a Birkin. However, since I've been waiting for it for so long, I couldn't say no and my Toronto essay is so sweet as well. This is not normal spending for me. I'm definitely not rich enough to do our mez bag unboxings every few months. Also, this bag was within my yearly budget. After this bag, I'm definitely on a boat heading straight to Ban Island. So the shoes that I picked up are these Esme Mules in white. I don't have a lot of flat designer shoes in my collection, but this pair doesn't look too bulky on since the mule tapers at the end. Again, since it's in chev leather, it wrinkles easily, but it's so comfortable. Okay, so let's open up the desk bag and see what I got. And ta-da! So this is the Lindy 26 in gold with gold hardware and in the beautiful and yummy Clemence leather. And I tied this little twilly that goes really well with it. All right, so let's do a close-up shot of this gorgeous bag. So there is a flat pocket on each of the two sides. The two dangling straps can be fastened onto the central hardware, but let's be honest, that's too much work. There's five little feet at the bottom of the bag to protect the bag, and the bag can be worn as a hand carry or a shoulder bag. What more can you ask for, am I right? So I know this is not a Birkin or a Kelly, and to be honest, I have no idea why this took two years for me to get. Um, I told my essay about this two years ago in this exact spec, and I was very specific. I only wanted gold with gold hardware and in Clemence leather, but Clemence is a very common leather. I think this is the most common for the Lindy. So I don't know if it's just because of COVID stock issues, but then my Toronto essay did say that the stock of the Lindy bags, they don't really control over because so it kind of gets assigned to a specific essay and then they don't really get to like share the stock. I think they just get what they get and then they have to offer that to their clients. For the Lindy bags, especially in the Lindy 26, I don't think it requires a pre-spend. Um, maybe in the mini Lindy because it's so popular, but I think for the 26, you don't need to pre-spend but of course some sort of relationship with an essay would help you get the exact one that you want but I did have a little bit of pre-spend but that wasn't because I was trying to get this bag it was just kind of the things that I liked and I wanted to get but I actually got this bag when I went to pick up a pair of shoes that I ordered and I wanted to look at so when I actually arrived in the store now Toronto the boutique they don't really take appointments anymore. So on the weekends, it actually is more of like a walk-in system. You can let your essay know ahead of time that you're gonna be coming in at a specific time and they might be able to set that time aside for you. So that way they don't take any walk-in clients. So I still had to wait, had to wait like around half an hour, maybe a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more before my essay is actually ready to see me, even though we pre-booked like in a, not really an appointment time, but a time when I would come in. I, I was just kind of browsing the store while waiting for my essay and then I realized that if you stand right in the baby goods section or where the homeware is, you can actually peek inside the little room where they offer the bags because the door doesn't close completely so there's like a little bit of a slit and you kind of see what bags are being offered. So that's what I was entertaining myself doing while waiting for my essay. But when she was finally done, the first thing she said was, Jane, are you open to a tube. And I said, cause she kept offering me two blendies. She offered me last visit. She offered me the visit before that. And of course in Paris, as you guys all know, I was offered like two different versions of a tube, but I, I just don't like a tube. I really wanted gold. I think gold suits my skin tone a little bit better. A tube is just a little bit of a weird grayish, yellowish, brownish shade that I personally don't find very flattering, but I know it's a very classic color as well. But she basically said to me, the first thing she saw me, she said, Jane, are you okay with the tube? Because I have an a tube Lindy in the back. And I was like, no, you know, I, I'm set on gold because last time you offered me a tube as well, but thank you. And then she said, oh my gosh, because I know that, you know, I keep telling the manager, my client's been waiting for two years for this bag and we just keep not receiving the bag. Is it possible for me to trade with someone? You know, I think the tube would look great on you. I actually think, you know, this, it would look better than gold. But I was like, no, you know, I'm just set on the gold. And she said, okay, what about the touch? And I said, um, maybe, I mean, it would depend. And then she said, okay, so you're set on the gold, right? She, and then she gives him the shoe. She's like, okay, go, go try on the shoes. And then I'm gonna just check in the back again. And I said, okay. So then I was just trying on the shoes. And then she came and she said, 
okay, I have a gold with gold hardware. And I said, Alindi in gold with gold hardware? And she said, yes, but it's in Clemence leather. Do you like Clemence? I know you're very picky about the leathers. And I said, no, that's exactly the bag that I'm looking for. And she said, oh, okay, okay, let me go put it on hold for you. And then uh, what did you think of the shoes? And then anyway, so it was just so, it was so random and it was so spontaneous and maybe a stock, like a batch of stock came in on that Saturday, but somehow I ended up with this bag. So the reason I love the Lindy bag is of course because of the practicality. I think this is probably one of Hermes's most practical bags. Yes, the Kelly, the Birkins, and the Constans are beautiful and they're quota bags, but functionally speaking, I think the Lindy is better than all three of them. You have your shoulder strap, which allows you to be hands-free. You have your top handle, which allows you to look fancy, I guess. And the most important thing is that you have these side flaps where you can just put your phone or little small things and you can just easy grab and go. And on top of that, you've got these two zippers. So that would make your bag secure. But at the same time, if you open it up, you can just treat it like a tote bag and it's very easy to grab things in and out. Not to mention that there's a lot of space in this bag and you can probably put a lot in here or very little, depending on how much you wanna carry. If you fold it up like this, which is the highlight of this bag, you can make it into like a fortune cookie or a dumpling shape then this can make the bag look smaller or you can have the bag look larger if you're gonna fill it up a lot more. So I just love the versatility of the Lindy and I love how the design is very uh, low key. You know, it doesn't really, it's not a very obviously known Hermes bag. So most people will not really recognize this as an Hermes bag unless you know the brand. And it's just so functional with all of the characteristics of this bag, which is why, honestly, I think this bag is probably my most practical out of all of my Hermes bags. And I want to prove you guys wrong that the Lindy is not an ugly bag because I can I have seen it being styled really well, especially in the gold color in the Clemence leather. And the Clemence leather is probably the best leather in my opinion for the Lindy bag because Clemence is very hardy, right? So it doesn't scratch very easily and it doesn't really get water damage. Um, I think this is like a very carefree bag. It's a carefree bag, so the leather should be carefree as well. And that's what Clemence does. And also Clemence leather, it will get very soft and it will definitely get a little bit slouchier over time, but definitely not to the same smooshiness feel as a Swift leather. Swift is almost kind of like a marshmallow and it just flops and looks like a soft puddle. Whereas I think Clemence will over time, you can see when it's folded, it's got that structure, it's got the bulk, it feels thick and substantial. And I just like the shape of this a lot better. So I know the Lindy bag also, some people say that, you know, with these little two hardwares, it kind of looks like a little cat eye. So especially in the black color, it almost like it looks like a black cat. So once you see it, you can't unsee it. All right, lastly, this is a bag styled on me and you can get a better idea about the size of the Lindy 26. I personally think this size is the perfect size for the Lindy and this color will just go with everything. All right, so there you guys have it, my new Hermes bag, and I think I'll get a lot more use out of this than my Birkins and Kelly's, and I'm so happy to finally add a gold bag to my collection. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.